Loose anagen hair syndrome may look like androgenetic alopecia, or like alopecia areata. It is a congenital disease that affects mainly girls. The age of onset is usually six to eight years. In these patients, a gentle traction may cause a painless removal of a large number of hairs. This is possible because unlike healthy persons, in whom the anagen hair is firmly attached to the hair follicle. In LAHS, there are clefts that separate the inner and outer root sheaths from surrounding tissues. The force required to remove single scalp hair is 48 G in healthy individuals and only 14 G in patients with this condition. Even combing, casual hair pulling or playing with pets or other children can lead to hair detachment. Hair is usually pulled before it grows long and enters the telogen phase. The trichogram shows 70% to 100% anagen hairs. The pulled hairs are devoid of the outer root sheath here for comparison. A normal anagen hair. A trichoscopy hallmark is the presence of multiple short rectangular structures. Sometimes they are not purely rectangular. They probably represent the residue of the hair that detaches from the hair shaft when it is pulled. Yellow dots may be present. Most follicular units contain only one hair. Here is a high magnification of a rectangular black structure in loose anagen hair syndrome. Histopathology shows clefting between sheaths. There is no inflammation. There is no disease-specific treatment. In many patients, the disease resolves spontaneously after few years. The appearance can be improved by avoiding mechanical trauma. Minoxidil in the topical form may be helpful, low dose, oral may be tried. Efficacy varies from case to case and pharmacotherapy it does no replace avoiding trauma and gentle hair care. If you like this video, please give it a like in and now my question to you. How would you differentiate LAHS from trichotillomania?